doing this job though, like, I do spend a lot of time just walking around and sometimes you don't even have to look for comedy, sometimes it walks and hits you in the face. I was stopped the other day by a homeless chap, right? Now, for the purpose of this story, this homeless gentleman has a Scottish accent. Okay, that is not because I'm saying that all homeless people are Scottish, no. That is because I'm saying the majority of homeless people are Scottish. <laughs> but this, this guy came up to me and he stopped me in the street and he said, Hello, Paul! You got a pound! And 73 pence! What an incredibly specific request! I mean, the joke might be on me though, because I have literally no idea how much heroin costs. So, uh, But like, I do always seem to get into trouble with homeless people. I don't know what it is, they seem attracted to me. Like, the other day I was walking down the road and I was eating and walking. This is hard enough as it is, isn't it? But the food I was eating was cookies. Now, these just weren't any five for a pound shitty Tesco's cookies on them. These were the pinnacle of cookie technology. The Ferrari of the cookie world. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. M&S white Belgium chocolate. Doing well for myself, ladies, yeah. The best thing about these cookies, not only are they tasty, play your cards right, your new nan will buy them for you. <laughs> yeah, that mind. But I have these cookies, like, I don't know, I was having a good day, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to offer this homeless guy a cookie, I'm going to, why not? So I went down to him and said, alright mate, I've not, I've not got any change, but do you fancy a cookie? And he looked up at me, and with no hint to me, he said, nah mate, I don't eat sweet things. <laughs> Never before have I had to use the phrase, beggars can't be choosers. 